Okay guys, now that we've punched holes on the top part, three holes on the top. So as you can see, the hole is in the middle of the score marks. The second hole is on the score mark, the second score mark. And then the third hole is in between the second and the third score mark. So that's what we're going to do on both sides, like the top and the bottom. And I would suggest that you measure it using your notebook. So if this is your notebook, you just approximate it. Make sure that the notebook is partially like inside. And then make sure you put a hole in the middle. Can you see that? So hole has to be in the middle so that you can include a closure. So we're going to do this together. You're going to need buttons too, maybe two buttons to um, get your closure. So I'm just using this button from... Love plus lemon that I got from Tuesday morning for $2.99. So be on the lookout for that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by putting it inside a hole. So using your elastic thread. I don't know what this is called. Elastic cord. This I got from Amazon. Right there. So using the elastic cord. This is, this is 3 feet of elastic cord plus 6 inches. So that is 42 inches in total. So you're going to start by putting it on, go from coming from the outside, putting it inside, threading it so right here, and then you're going to thread it towards the opposite one. Right? So you're going to do that. And then you're going to put it on the second hole because, you know, you want the elastic cord to hold your four tiny traveler's notebooks, right? So you're going to do that. And then you're going to pull it a little bit. And then you're going to put it there on the opposite side. And then you're going to go through that again so that it goes on the last. Right there. Okay. Right there. And then you go through right here. So this is what it looks like right now. Wait, let me see. I need to give this a little give. So this and this is approximately the same. So you have this inside. So you have three. And then this is what you have outside. Okay. And then you're going to put this back again. Like so. And then on the opposite side, you're going to put this towards the middle too. So you need to put it back inside so that you can have it go through the middle hole. Which is going to be your closure. If you don't want, you know, if you want to make a separate closure, you can. So you don't have to go through this and you can just... You can easily just skip this part, but you still have, you still need cord to hold your traveler's notebooks. So now that both of it is back towards the center, this is what we have. Okay, that's what we have. And then, well, ideally this one would be the same length as, as this. So let me, let me um, redo this and then I'll get back with you. Okay, so now this is more or less the same length. Um, what I chose to do, you can just choose to tie this off. I thought it would be cute to put it through the button. Like this closure. So I just like to use the white button. But if you have like matching buttons for your paper, then that would be so much more fun. So I'm just threading it through these buttons, right? Right, so... I'm just going to go through that and then I'm going to tie this off with a regular knot. So just tying it off like this. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We have the elastic cord tied off with a button so it doesn't go anywhere. And you have three that can hold your notebooks. So that's what we have. Then if you want to make your own closure, then that's fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a closure and using another button. I think it's, you know, this button is very, these buttons are very decorative. Make sure that it is um, tight, taut enough to be able to hold everything that's inside that you want to put inside. So we're going to get um, like another button to hold it together, maybe a smaller one. So I'm going to thread it through and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, so this is what we have so far. This is um, the button closure. I'm sure there's a lot of tutorials out there on different ways on how to close this. But this is 
what I found that's the easiest for me and I can replicate it over and over and it uses the least amount of elastic cord um, so I and I think buttons are really really cute and this is what I was telling you about and then you can put more charms in here if you prefer um, uh, you know if you want to decorate it a little bit further but this is what we have so far so the decorative button right there and then maybe you can put a title on where you went in here it's big enough to put the you can put a label and then so if you open it up you can see all your signatures in there see it holds all three of them really really well with a 42 inch um elastic cord so that's that's what we have for that now we're gonna go to making the suitcase so let's do that okay guys now what we have is a 12 by 12 piece of paper so you need two sheets because this is going to be your base for your traveler's notebook suitcase so you're going to need two sheets of like really sturdy um cardstock so what i'm doing is we need two sheets of seven and a half by 12. so let's let's cut it together um so that this is seven and a half Make sure that your branding strip, you're able to identify where it is so you don't include that in the measurement. So two seven and a half by 12, okay? Once you have that cut off, you're going to score on all four sides, one and a half on all four sides. So let's do that together. Score it. I'm gonna get my scoring pad. right there so let's score it one and a half on all four sides okay guys now that we have our boxes so you're going to notice that there's two right and then you're going to notice that i cut off the sides because this is the top portion so this I'm going to attach the bottom. So I'm going to put adhesive on here and this is going to attach. So if you imagine that this is the bottom of the box, this is the flap that I'm going to glue on here so that it attaches and it's going to be like the bottom part. <clears throat> if you look right there, that's going to be attached. I hope that was clear. So this is what it's going to look like because this is the bottom part and then this is where the handle is going to be. So that's that's what it's going to look like. So, but before before you attach it together, we need to put the decorative paper on top first before you put it all together just so it's easier because believe me, I tried it and it was a little bit harder so i think it's more efficient if we cover it first and then put it all together so let's do that i will be putting the measurements of the paper i'm going to put it on hyperlapse and then you're going to see what the measurements it's just pretty much one eighth less of the size of your box so let's do that let's let's cut the decorative paper Okay guys, now that we have our pieces covered, you're going to notice that this does not have this side. I cut it off and this would indicate to you that this is the cover part. Okay, so this is what's going to cover your, your bag. And then this side that has complete all the sides onto it, all you need to cover is two sides and then the bottom because when you fold it okay so when you fold it like this these are the sides that's gonna show right and then this part that says do not cover will be covered by the the top friend right there 
so you don't need to cover this with pretty paper because it's going to get covered anyways because that's going to seal the box and put it all together so this is what it's going to look like when you when you put it all together right there and then based on your design you can choose where you know based on the orientation of your design you can choose where you want your handle to be because obviously your handle is going to be on top so you decide based on that but this this is pretty much the makeup of your box i'm going to put it all together and then um we'll get to the handle part of your box okay guys so now we have the handle so you're gonna need um you know the left over of your cardstock that you used for the base so this is measured this is uh 12 by 3 cardstock you're going to score it at half score it across and then you're going to score it at one and a half and three and nine and ten and a half Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to fold it. So you're going to score it where your score marks are. So pretty much what you start with is you varnish, burnish your score marks first just to get it reinforced. Um, if you want, you can cover this as well. But I just want to show you like just the basics of what we have. So... If this is a clean, this is what we have, right? So this is going to be your handle. This is going to be what's stuck on your box. Like this and like that. That's going to be, that's what it's going to look like on your book. But we're going to glue it inside. So let's do that. I'll show you. So we're going to put the glue. By the way, I use art glitter glue that I got from Amazon. I feel like this is the best, um... That I've used so far and this one doesn't get clogged like I've tried so many I'm gonna put a link down below it doesn't get clogged so easily I don't know what about this what is with this tip that it just doesn't get clogged so I got it at Amazon it's like 20 something dollars but it has this tip, it has this small one, and it has a refill, like a big jar of refill. And I've been using this for a good two months now and still hasn't run out. So I didn't have to refill this tiny little one yet, but I'm glad because this is 60 ml. So just in case you're looking for a good adhesive to use, um, I love I love the roller adhesives. It's just it's not very cost efficient for me it's just too expensive for me to keep keep it up buying refills and everything so um it's easy to use if you have a sponsor for adhesives then yes it's a great idea but if you don't then yeah no it's it's not very cost effective anyways so this is what we have this is going to be your handle if you want to um, put some stitching on it, that'll be so cute too. And it's going to make it sturdy. Um, but this is what we have so far with a handle. So, what I, I'm more inclined to using, I, I like to like practice bending it. Just so, you know, just keep on practicing the paper. I think it helps with the fibers. So, this is where we put the adhesive. And then, once... And then this is where, I haven't put it all together yet, but this is what it's it's going to look like ultimately, our bag. Our, our traveler's notebook box. Oh, isn't it so cute, guys? I know this tutorial is taking forever, but bear with me because it's like um, three tutorials in one. Like making the cover, making the the mini signatures, and making the bag in itself. I know it's taking forever, but... I'm going to put all the details down in the description below so you can kind of get a detail. So I'm planning on putting some buttons here just to be consistent on the buttons. And then you can decorate it however you like. Um, the decorating part and the embellishings and the DIY embellishments will be in another video, by the way. 
so that's what it's gonna look like and let me put it all together okay friends so this is our finished product um, I decided to put a little bit of embellishing on there and then I put some stitching and the buttons that I told you about that I wanted to put as a decorative element and then some simple wonky stitching right here in the front so I glued it all together and then I punched a notch right here just so it's easier for you to know like where it opens up so this is our finished product for today I hope you didn't find that tutorial super long I wanted to condense it to one just so you know if if you're tr intending to make this project you only have to look at one video and not search for it so <clears throat> in this video we were able to make the box which is this called the suitcase the laminated traveler's notebook and the three signatures that we were able to do so this is super awesome for like a short trip for not necessarily a trip if you just wanted to journal or anything and you wanted a keepsake box that holds all your memories together in one area this is also such a wonderful idea I hope that this is something that inspired you today to use your scrapbook stash, your paper that you love so much that you bought and you had lovingly thought of ideas and hopefully this inspired or sparked some inspiration in you. Um, I hope you can consider subscribing to my channel if this is something that you're interested in. Please like and subscribe if you like. If you have any questions, comment down below. And I would be um, responding to your messages as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. This is Christian signing off. I hope you have a wonderful crafty day, guys. Bye-bye.